County, Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from Truist Park. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Montgomery Biscuits. And now, please welcome your Montgomery Biscuits. Brent Honeywell, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now to the plate, here is Will Wilson, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The one-two. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. In now, Elliot Ramos. Swing and a miss on one the fastball, two. and it's one and two. Starting to get a bit chilly here tonight. 57 degrees at game time. One out, nobody on. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The 2 2. Full count. Three balls. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. The time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Dero, what's the key for a road victory in this one? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the one two. Center base hit around first digging for two. No mistake what he was sitting on fastball middle of the plate kept his hands back stayed through the baseball and delivers a hard hit line drive. Standing in now, Hunter Bishop hit out towards second, reined in, and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Two out double left stranded. Bottom of the first, straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. Sean Jelly, a native of Minnesota, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, Matty, if you're looking for innings out of your starting pitcher, you're looking at the right guy. This guy seems to deliver more often than not going deep into the games. He's one of those guys you feel really confident that could go into that seventh, eighth, and even the ninth inning. A workhorse. That brings up Xavier Edwards. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Fouled away. Ah, and he takes strike three. three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling well, balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of.
borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box now, Michael Gigliotti. The short hit hard. Scooped up. And there's out number two. That is good. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runners stranded. So now to the plate, Ryan Bolt lifted down the line and left. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Man, that swing looked that like self-defense than a real quality base, swing. But, hey, he oh. muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. To the plate now, Miles Mastroboni. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. We'll move on to the second now at Truist Park with no score. Second inning set to go, and digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. You always want to start an inning off with a bang, and I'd say this qualifies. He gets a fastball and doesn't try to do too much with it. Goes with it to the opposite field towards the gap and picks up the leadoff double. Into the box, Luis Toribio. Ground ball right side. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And the guy patrolling center field today, I can't emphasize this enough. If you want a good ball club, you better be strong up the middle. Center field being that main component with catcher, shortstop, and second base. This guy takes tremendous routes to the ball. Strong and accurate arm and just a leader on the field. In now, Jason Krizan. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Only play is going to be a first, so that will go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Into the box, Jacob Gonzalez. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Richmond leads this one one to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and here comes the first baseman, Dalton Kelly. Yep. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. Boy, just when you like to get one of those shut down innings, the leadoff guy ends up reaching cool. base right now. Look and you're that. looking for that one-two yeah. inning. Now you have to pitch out of the stretch. Yeah, I can't tell you how that lights up an offensive dugout right there, getting that leadoff guy on. So many options, puts the pitcher on the defensive and in the stretch. Stepping in now, Blake Hunt. Ball. And that's upstairs, running three the count ball. to three one and one. Nine.
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Count, three balls, two strikes. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Ball that ball. misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue that a free pass, but especially troublesome baseman. when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Now with the plate is Austin Shinton. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Strike taken up in the zone. Playing 12, one ball, two strikes. In ball. tight with the slider, two and two. Playing two balls, two strikes. From the belt, the pitch lifted down the line and left. Long run for the left fielder, and no one will track it down. Kelly on second, Hunt on at first with nobody out. Again, another foul ball. Another try at 2-2. Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And that is off the wall. Yeah, it's always nice to get a run right back after you've game. given one up to the guys from the other dugout. Game. So he squares this thing up really well to drive in a run yeah. and ties us up at one. Into the box now, John Diaz. He loses him on ball four. Wow, I'm not sure what they were afraid of in this at bat. The count moved to three and two, and they didn't even challenge him there. I can understand being careful with some hitters, but not that guy. He'll happily take the walk. Stepping in next, Nico Holsizer, and a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Now the payoff pitch home. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes the right fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. No matter, no okay, down. here's a defense for the away team. And one of the main backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. At the plate, Xavier Edwards. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. now. The seventh field. So next to hit is Michael Gigliotti. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put... Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. One run is scored. Oh, he's and he's safe. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, d -roll, but that now big that base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, oh, Dan, yeah, without yeah. question right there. Huge oh. at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. Next to dig in, Ryan Bolt. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from him on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We played two full. The Biscuits lead it three to one. 
Now it'll be Luis Matos, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first That's in out. time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Had to protect the there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of that. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. So now to the plate, Will Wilson. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. To the plate now, Elliot Ramos. Bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. We'll head now to half of inning number three. And Montgomery's out in front here, three to one. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the second baseman, Miles Mastroboni. Well oh, above go. the letters with all that time. Dalton Kelly is on deck. The 3-1. Hey. I think Kelly. getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way to this start. Next to hit, Dalton Kelly. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Here now the 2-2. is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now batting, catcher. Digging in next, Blake Hunt. No Hunt. official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Master Boney, base runner at first with one out. Hit back up the middle. One there. On to first out. as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Three innings complete. The Biscuits lead it three to one. Stepping up is Marco Luciano as we begin the top of the fourth. Ah, uh, gets him to swing at a pitch One, down two, and out two, of the down. zone. One and two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Throw to first in time. Ow. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting, the left fielder, Hunter Bishop. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hunter Bishop. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball. 
Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Full count, here it comes. And he One loses four. him on a breaking base. ball. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. Digging in, the switch hitter, Patrick Bailey. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Throw over to the bag. And he'll dive back in. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Lays off it to even the count two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now that designated hitter. Striding forward Torribio. now is the DH, Torribio. Luis Toribio. He bounced out last time up. Now the one and one pitch and this runs inside and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch but as long as it doesn't do too much damage most guys will take it any day. A free be a big deal guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. And stepping in Jason Krizan. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Austin Shenton. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, John Diaz. Worked a walk his first time up. Two and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. He's fallen three behind one. now. Three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out, nobody on. Second. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two He's down. Out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So here is Nico Holsizer. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. 
fouled off. Looks like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops Count a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. Good swing. A little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. The three, two, one more time. Scorched to third. Reined in. Go to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. And Montgomery's out in front here, three to one. So now here is Jacob Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Play 12, one ball, he is in complete strikes. command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye ball. levels to boot. The 1 2 ball. offering looked like two a strikes. slider that time, but it's. Into right center, and they'll get a man aboard to start the inning. That's a base hit. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy's able to put bat on baseball and find a way to hit a soft liner to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap that inside out swing. As a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. Into the box, Luis Matos. And he Wait, pumps the fastball well, by him here. One and two now. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it to second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Will Wilson has gone down on strikes twice already in this one and Dan when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game is there any extra motivation to punch him out again. Hey there's no doubt about that Matt when you have a good hitter like this and you punched him out twice already you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. Fastball no. runs in tight here, and it's two and one. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. One hits all they get. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Biscuits lead it. Three to one. Your Highway Tang, the six foot four inch now right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Highway Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and striding into the box next is Xavier Edwards. Ball. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Full count. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Is a swing and a high pop up. Gonzalez moving to his left. One out. 
the bat. The center fielder. Micro. Giggly Hottie. So stepping in is Michael Gigliotti coming off the clutch two run single his last time up. The 1 1. And he popped him up and no one will get this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes lifted the other way down the left field line. Bishop is over just a few steps to his height as he takes it for round number two. Now batting, right fielder, Ryan Bolt. Up next, Ryan Bolt. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. High in the air out to center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Elliot Ramos. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Master Boney stay with it as he puts away one gone. The back the ten. Marco Luciano. Now to the plate. Marco Luciano. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. The one one home. No. And we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. A 2 1 home. Right side. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out six. Now batting. The left field. Hunter. Bishop. Now a throw over to first. He and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Stepping in now, Hunter Bishop. Ball. And the pitch misses low and away two for one. ball two. Luciano leads off first with one away. 2-1 two, pitch is a fastball two, two. swung on and missed two and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way three, now, two. I suppose. Full count, three and two. Another full count pitch home. Popped him up. Shenton backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now batting. The catcher. Patrick Bailey. So next to bat will be Patrick Bailey. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. The next three, two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And 
now in the box, Miles Mastroboni. It was a walk in his last trip. A 1 1. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 1 2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. Base. A classic nice strikeout team. pitch. You think Go it's there. fastball middle in, then it starts Go bearing way. in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can Standing in now, Dalton Kelly. This is skied into short left center. Bishop comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Now batting, catcher, Dwight Hunt. Next, it'll be Blake Hunt. Now the 2-1 pitch. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Krizan is there, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full, and Montgomery's out in front here, three to one. Colin Poche is on to pitch from now to starting number seven. Number 38, Colin set for the start of the inning and striding forward the designated hitter Luis Toribio chopper foul ready with the one and two there is the breaking ball takes care of him for the stop. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely in the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Plate, Jason Krizan, and it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate now, Jacob Gonzalez. Ball. And he misses two, two and one. One strike. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Swing and a liner. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Throw won't yep. be in time as he reaches it first. Ready now is Luis Matos. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Lewis Head trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. So now into the box is Will Wilson. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. 
No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Gonzalez at second. Matos at first. Two out in the inning. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. From the belt. Kicks and deals. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time last half of the seventh here and set to go as the third baseman Austin Shinton he's set here's the 2-2 two -two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a no guy's matter. check Number swing. Seven. It's not a great Just angle, and everything here. happens so quickly, yeah. so they really have to be paying attention yeah. out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. One, two, the count. Hit on the ground out to short. And there are two away now. Now batting left fielder. So the next to bat will be Nico Holsizer. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Fastball didn't miss full by count. much, Keep and it's a full strike. count now. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so ball you can't ball. afford That's to be that. giving out three passes this late. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine the hole in getting on nine. base as we go back Short to the top stop. of the order. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Now to bat, Xavier, he's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. That'll bring up Elliot Ramos. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The batter, number 10, shortstop, Marco Luciano. And now, Marco Luciano singled last time up.
ball two strikes. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. And he fouls this one off. Short but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Now back, left field. Jeffrey Your Springs enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final Fisher. out here in the top of inning number, number eight. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Hunter Bishop. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind oh, 1 and 2. Hey, this is a huge out right here. Two outs in the eighth inning. If this guy comes in and does his job, they hand it over to that beast in the ninth. Here comes the 1 2. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Sometimes.